What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans, and today we're talking all about white inked pens. If you are a stationary lover like I am, if you are a decorative planner like I am, if you just love pens like I do, this is going to be a fun one for all of us. I think my camera is jiggling. I'm sorry. Can you see that it's jiggling? Maybe it'll stop jingle jangling. <laughs> okay. So what I wanted to do was really just test out all the white inked pens I could find just to see which is the best for my needs, which is the best on colored paper, which is the best for uh, whiting out lines for underneath stickers, which feels the best, which is the most cost efficient or cost effective. So what I did was I went on to jetpens.com and I think I purchased all of the white inked pens on their website. They have very affordable pricing on their pens, in my opinion, and their uh, their umbrella or their, their top point for qualifying for free shipping is it's either $30 or $35. So I spent $37 to try all of the white inked pens so that you don't have to. And I think everyone's going to have a different opinion on what white inked pen is the best. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that up to you. I'm just show I'm just showing you what your options are. Um, I will say that my default top white inked pen is the Uniball um, Uniball Signo um, or high. It's like gel impact uh, pen. This is my absolute favorite. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see if there are some others out there that I have not tried that are uh, solid contenders. So let's. Let's get into it. They were probably filling this order and going, oh my goodness, what is this girl doing? How I'm going to do this is twofold. First, I want to test it on black paper. This is just Happy Planner uh, filler paper. I want to see how it performs on black paper. And then I want to see how it performs whiting out lines on Happy Planner paper, which is uh, predominantly what I use for decorative planning. So first and foremost, we've got a, I think I got two different types of jelly rolls. Let me organize these. Um, give me just a moment. Okay, so what I did was separate them by brand. I think that's gonna be the best way to go. So we have over here the Sakura brand, which includes the famous Jelly Roll. And then we have the Sakura Glaze and the Sakura Souffle. Three from Pentel, two from Uniball, one from Yasutomo YNC Gel Extreme, two from Pilot, then one from Zebra. Let's start with Sakura and I'll use the boldest tip that I can see as like the header for each brand. So this is the Sakura. Make sure I'm in the frame. Okay, let me pause for a second. So I just did the jelly rolls and I am not a fan, just by default, they're not my favorite. Um, so we've got the five, the eight, and the 10, or the 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 10. This is what they look like. And uh, these did not have like tip covers on them as if they've been used before. Maybe that's part of it, or maybe the Jelly Roll doesn't typically have a cap on it. I thought that was interesting after seeing that the glaze, Sakura Glaze does have a protective cover on the tip. So let's keep going and see if these other from Sakura uh, work well. This does not look white. It does not look white. It actually looks like a glaze, like a paint glaze. It looks like it's kind of slowly starting to turn white but that's weird. Not a fan of the glaze. Last one from Sakura is Souffle. It 
Same thing with the souffle. It's really not coming off white, kind of looking glazed. Maybe it will dry white, but if you're looking at the Sakura pens, for sure the best one is the one, the 1.0 or the, the 10, that top one. If you're looking for a nice bold ink, the eight is okay, but I don't love it. I'd probably go with the Sakura Jelly Roll 10. Let's pivot to Pentel. One note about the Pentel Hybrid Gel Grip DX. This is a 1.0, and this feels like a nice pen. I would say feels-wise, it's very similar to the Uniball. Um, it's got a nice thickness to it. It feels a little bit more luxe because it has that rubber grip on it. Um, let's go ahead and write down what this is. This is the Hybrid Milky. This one's not bad. I just don't like the way it feels in my hand. It's very small and just doesn't feel very sturdy. Like it feels cheap to me. It feels cheap. So from a writing experience perspective, I don't love it, but that is, I think, already better than the Jelly Roll, which is in the same tip size. Now for the Hybrid Gel Grip. This one's not bad. I think the Sakura, I think the Pentel is better than the Sakura so far. Now for my Uniball. This just really is an excellent pen. I, I, I just love it. This I haven't tried. This is the Signo DX and this is a 0.7. This one's not bad. Uh, I prefer the broad. I, I just like the thickness of that white. I like how that shows up. This one just isn't as rich, but that's also because the DX is a 0.7. So this is a 0.7. And this is, I think, a one. Okay, let's talk about the Pilot Pens. See, this one's got a cover on it. These are disappointing to me. They're just, they just don't do much. I guess it's up to the eye of the beholder, but interestingly, the four, the juice up, which is 0.4, is wider and I think writes better than the pilot juice that's a 0.5. But I think that's, wow. <laughs> but I think that's also because it's just a better quality pen. Okay, so this is the Yasutomo YNC Gel Extreme in the 0.7. Hmm. Eh. Not necessary. This pen is not necessary. Lastly, the Zebra Sarasa. This one has a cover on it. All right, friends, this is all of them. The Sakura pens, the Pentel pens, Uniball, Pilot, Yasutomo, and the Zebra Sarasa. My eye is drawn to the richer, most white inked pens. The Jelly Roll 10, the Pentel Hybrid Gel Grip DX, and the Uniball bro uh, Broad. But those are also the largest tip size, right? These are all the one millimeter. My question to you is, because this is where it really comes down to personal preference, who out there would want to use a finer tipped white inked pen and why? 
because some of these, I just, especially seeing them on black paper, I just, I mean, I guess if you're journaling, maybe, and you just want something clean and simple, like I went to the bank today. I mean, this is a satisfying, it's like a needle tip, but it's so, it's so light. I don't know. So let's see how these help with whiting out lines on paper, which for a decorative planner, that's kind of how, I mean, that's how you're going to use these pens. Let me first, before we do that, let me just write down my top. Interesting, look at the glaze and the souffle. Both of them came out white after drying. So that's not bad. The souffle is not bad. Let's try the souffle and the hybrid milky. One other thing I wanted to point out as far as the difference between these two, which I think are probably the top contenders, the Pentel um, Hybrid Gel Grip and the Uniball, is the Pentel has a little bit more of a yellow undertone to the white, whereas this, the Uniball has more of a like clean white color. And that does play into how they work on paper like this. So this is Happy Planner paper. And I'm going to go ahead and mark off on here different sections for each type of pen. You got to pretend that you're decorative planning and you want to white out the lines underneath a clear sticker. So here is the 10 and I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm not going to go over twi twice, I'm just going to do it once. So there's the 10. Here is the souffle the souffle throws me off because it comes off kind of like milky clear then the uniball try not to go over it twice I don't want to cheat then the hybrid and the DX and we're gonna wait for these to dry Okay, let's talk about how these finished and which I would use for decorative planning. First and foremost, with the two pen tells. So we've got the DX, which is the sexy thick one, and then the hybrid, the kind of stick pen one. These look the same. Look the same. But this one, the hybrid dries faster. So if you were, let's say, a Pentel snob and you were using these for decorative planning, I would go actually with the hybrid gel grip because it dried faster. The ink color is exactly the same. So if you're writing with them and you want a thicker flow, go with the one. If you want a thinner flow, go with the 0.8. And then the default, if you're using it for decorative planning, would probably be this one because it dries faster. That's kind of like the tiebreaker when it comes to how they white out these lines because they look pretty similar to me up close. Looking at the Uniball, uh, it just clearly to me is totally, I'm gonna come up close here. You can't see the white line underneath it or the black line underneath it. Do you see that? This guy has no black line showing. Not at all. I feel very much affirmed that the Uniball really is the best for whiting out lines. The Souffle, the Souffle I'm just now realizing actually has a shiny finish to it. And it has a little bit of transparency. So. This is a no-go, in my opinion, for the decorative planning because of the shine and the transparency. 
there is, I will say, a positive for the Pentel versus the Uniball. These are dried matte. The Uniball has ever so slightly a little bit of a shine to it. Like barely, I wouldn't compare it to this, but I would say like semi-matte and totally opaque. Lastly, with the Jelly Roll, um, I can see the line underneath, but it is matte. So that is a positive, but you can see the line. Okay, so to sum things up, I'm not a professional pen tester. I'm just thinking about how I use white inked pens. If I were using this on a colored bu bullet journal or on blackout paper like this, and I, let's say I'm doing like a design or something, I'm gonna want a thicker inked pen or a thicker tip. So these guys, I really do feel are the best. And when it comes to decorative planning and using them like white out, which is what I do, the Uniball continues to be my absolute favorite. It clearly show, uh, covers the line completely and it dries pretty quickly. Um, there's a little bit of um, shine, but honestly, I would rather... Look, Sam. Look, Sam. I would rather have uh, like the slightest bit of shine and be totally opaque than go with totally matte, but can kind of still see a line underneath. The last thing I want to do is talk about prices in case that is helpful. So I have my invoice up. The Pentel DX, this, this guy, the 1.0, was, let's, this was 250 at Jet Pens. The Uniball Signo Broad, my tried and true, $3.00 at Jet Pens. The Jelly Roll 10, price cannot be beat. This is a $1.35, not bad. The Souffle was $2.00. And the Pentel Hybrid Gel Grip was $2.20. And these are all the pricing uh, prices for Jet Pens. JetPens.com. Not sponsored, not an ad, just a fan. So there you have it, friends. I hope that this was helpful. If you see any of these five pens in store, you might want to pick them up. I would recommend these. If you are looking for a thinner tipped pen, I actually really do like the Pilot Juice Up. I like the way that the pen feels. It feels a little bit more... Mm, Lux, I guess you could say I like the tip style. It's just a little scratchy because it's so fine. But I do think that the white ink looks nice on this paper. I am not a fan of the smaller tipped jelly rolls, the, the uh, five. And, you know, the eight is bearable, but it's not my favorite either. So overall, if you're gonna pick a brand and take a gamble on yourself, I think the Pentel white inked pens are the best. But the creme de la creme is this one. So I go with the Uniball. I'm so, I feel so good, like affirmed that it really is the best. But then if you can't find this or you see Pentel in store, the Pentel brand white inked pens really are great. I'd steer clear of Pilot, I'd steer clear of Zebra, and I'd, I'd steer clear of Sakura, but it is an affordable brand and the 1.0 is not bad. So there you have it, friends. I hope that this was helpful. Again, I am not a pen testing expert. I just know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for and thought maybe you would benefit from my thoughts. So come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again and see how I put to use some of these pens, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. Play with all the pens and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.